Hello everybody, this is Nate with the STS guys bringing you another action figure unboxing. Today we have the SH Figuarts Ant-Man Avengers Endgame figure from Bandai. This is the uh, Japan release. They actually put these up for pre-order not too long ago and they released them really quickly. Um, I'm definitely riding that Marvel Avengers Endgame hype after seeing the movie. I loved it. No spoilers in this review. Uh, I think Paul Rudd is a great choice for Ant-Man, so I wanted to make sure I picked up this figure and add it to my collection. I've actually got a few of these Endgame figures on the way, uh, so expect more reviews uh, if you're into those. So, let's get into this figure. On the front of the box, pretty basic packaging here. It just says Avengers Endgame, Bandai, Tamashii Nations, Ant-Man. You can see the figure here. The Avengers logo on the side, it just says uh, SH Figure Arts Ant-Man. On the back, you can get to see some different pictures of the figure. It gives you an idea of what we're getting into. A bunch of Japanese writing here. And then on the side, you get this uh, Tamashii Nations quality logo. I think they're doing that because of a lot of bootlegs. They want to make sure people know that they're getting an authentic product. So let's get into this figure. Uh, I think this is the third Ant-Man that SH Figure Arts has actually done. I have not picked up any of the previous ones, but I did want to make sure I got this one because this is the first one that we got a Paul Rudd head sculpt, uh, unmasked head. So I wanted to make sure I picked it up, and wow, this figure looks really cool. Uh, great detailing. I love the colors on the suit. Let's get you guys a close-up look of the figure. And there he is. There's Paul Rudd. Pretty great head sculpt. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, but I mean, they do a really good job with these head sculpts, so I'm happy with that. And uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of Paul Rudd. I think he does an amazing job in the role. And I'm really loving this suit. Great details all throughout the suit. The colors look great. This piece here does move up. Um, and all the way down into his belt. On the sides here, you can see on the back, he's got his helmet kind of folded down. I think that's a really cool touch that they added that in. All the way down into his legs and his shoes here. Great, great details. They did an excellent job with this figure. Uh, I did pick up a few other SH Figure Arts. If, you're not a, if you don't know the brand, I highly recommend them. They do some amazing jobs on their figures. Uh, great articulation, everything else. I'll cover that too. So here's the figure itself. We do get a masked head of Ant-Man. And I think they did an excellent job on this masked head. You can see his eyes behind the visor there. I don't know if that's coming through on the video, but hopefully it is. You can kind of see his eyes behind the mask. Awesome details on this mask. Looks just like it does in the movie. And they even give us an extra neck piece to go along with the uh, mask. So you can see there's the unmasked head, which has the normal neck. And then on the masked head, they gave us this other neck. So pretty cool that they added that in. Uh, you don't get a ton of accessories with these figures, uh, but, you know, they do add in some cool stuff. So we do get open palm hands. You get two of those. So that's for action poses, things like that. You get a left and a right. And then you also get gripping hands as well. So if you want to have them holding something or holding a weapon or maybe riding a motorcycle, who knows? Uh, it's Ant-Man. He tends to do some crazy stuff. So, like I said, not a ton of accessories, but, uh, you know, these figures are priced about $55 U.S. Uh, I think it's a pretty reasonable deal considering how, you know, how expensive some figures can be. And for the likeness of Paul Rudd here, uh, I think they did an excellent job. I'm very, very happy with it. Let's see if we can get you a picture or a view of the masthead so you can get an idea of what that looks like on the figure. And... Pops on real nice and easy. That looks great too. I'm loving that. Great details, like I said, in the suit. Really quickly, we'll cover articulation. Our SH Figure Arts usually has great articulation, so the arm goes out there. It does, you can swing it up. It's just a little tight from being new. It does go all the way around. I like how they uh, put the shoulder piece on the arm so it actually doesn't hinder articulation. You do get really great range in the elbows there. His legs go forward a good amount. They go back a great amount. He does have double jointed knees as well. Oops, let me get this arm out of the way. So he can almost kick his own butt. And then he has some good range up and down. Not a ton of rocker 
uh, but he also does have a toe articulation as well. He's got some mid torso and bottom torso articulation. He can look down a really good amount. He can look back a really good amount as well. His neck goes up and down pretty far and side to side. Overall, really happy with this figure. Uh, glad to add an Ant-Man to my collection. And uh, like I said, I've got a few more of these SH Figure Arts figures coming, so please stay tuned to our channel. If this is your first STS Guys video, please check out the rest of our channel. We do a weekly podcast, we go to conventions, we talk about anything geeky, nerdy, or cool. Give me a big fat thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys like this figure, please uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and check us out on Instagram at STS Guys, on Twitter at STS Guys, on Facebook at The STS Guys. I am Nate from the STS Guys. Thanks for tuning in.